again, take with a grain of salt. It's all speculation. Nothing is confirmed. But I will say this. I feel pretty confident in what this man puts out. So let's start off with his first tweet that kind of started his thread. He says, big Modern Warfare beta leaks. At the start of the PS4 beta, you guys know PS4 is getting it first, the level cap will be level 10. It will not be increased until all three platforms are included. Well, if you remember correctly, isn't the PS4 getting the first weekend by themselves or something? I don't know. We'll have to wait and see how that all works. He says the perk quick fix was taken out of the beta, but will still be a perk within the perk one slot in the full game. Okay, next tweet. PS4 users will be able to pre-download the beta on the 10th. Digital pre-orders for Modern Warfare on PS4 will be able to pre-download the beta at 10 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. For non-digital pre-orders, PS4 redeem codes for the beta will be sent out on the 10th as well. So for everybody that's got that beta code, tomorrow is supposedly the day you need to check your email inbox and hopefully you'll get something to where you can go download this beta. Once again, guys, this is an open beta. It's not a closed beta, okay? It's an open beta, so keep that in mind. Moving on to the next tweet. Xbox and PC will be able to pre-download on the 18th, which is the second weekend of the beta. Once again, 10 a.m. for digital downloads and 11 a.m. for retailers. PS4 redeem codes will start being sent out as well. So unfortunately, Xbox and PC are going to have to wait a little while. But he also stated that that level cap of 10 won't be moved up until all three platforms are active so uh, I mean you're gonna you're gonna level out pretty quick if he's actually correct when it comes to the PS4 and you're gonna be sitting there being like come on come on move me up but then again I have to ask you how much do you want from this beta I know you're excited I'm excited but I I feel like we should kind of rein that in a little bit because do you guys remember the infinite warfare beta we pretty much got the entire game in the beta there was no surprises or anything when the final game came out and I for one don't want that to happen here I want a good taste but I also want the immersion the experience of finding new stuff and doing new stuff when I actually play the game uh, on day one so I want to know from you guys I'm very interested as into how much do you actually want as an offering up with this beta how much is too much how much is actually too little and I love the fact that they've put off campaign and spec ops and we've got multiplayer in our face and then we're gonna get those reveals I like the switch I do okay next once Xbox PC get access to the beta on the 19th and the 20th the level cap will be increased to 20 once the 21st hits the level cap will be increased to 30 30 will be the max level cap increase for the beta there will be playlist updates throughout the beta so if he is correct we could be seeing all the way up to rank 30 once all three uh, platforms have the beta going. All right, next tweet. The 21st, 23rd will be the only days where Ground War 32 v 32 will be available. There will also be two times weapon XP on select days during the beta to allow players to test out more gunsmith attachments. They've already confirmed that gunsmith, gun bench, gun whatever it is, will be in the game. You will be able to make some crazy, crazy creations with the firearms and weapons in this game, which is going to be a ton of fun. And he is saying that 32v32, which I do believe, was it GameSpot? Games Radar? Somebody actually got to play this already. He is saying that will be available from the 21st to the 23rd, so they're just going to give it to you, hang it out there like a golden carrot, and they're going to take it away. But if it is available, that's some confidence building right there. Because that's the fact that they're comfortable enough to give that to us in a beta, let us test it out, and uh, that means the sky's the limit. 50v50 could actually be a thing. Okay, next tweet. For weapon attachments, some require certain weapon level to equip. But for certain attachments, once you have reached the required level, there will be an additional task to unlock, such as kill 50 enemies. So some attachments will have double unlocks. Now, before you go crazy with this and you automatically hate on this, think about it. This is a good thing. This is takes us back to where grinding actually meant something, to where you had to play the game and earn and grind. If they have some double unlocks like this, where you get to a weapon attachment, and then you need to get 25 or 50 kills somehow to get that, I am completely on board with this because it brings back the old school vibe of actually having to grind the right way to get some stuff. I'm okay with this. I'm actually kind of excited about that one. All right, moving on. Progression from the PS4 beta will carry over to the second week of the beta. If that makes sense. Parties will have a max amount of six people in the beta, no larger despite larger play count modes. Specialist streaks and specialist perks will not be available in the beta. That's unfortunate. So 
you will not be seeing any specialist, which has been confirmed as well, or specialist perks in there. So you're not going to be able to run that outfit per se. But whatever you do on the first weekend, if this ends up being true, will carry over for the PlayStation 4 in the second weekend. All right, what is the beta going to include? Well, the Gaming Revolution says this. The beta will feature seven to nine maps. Four of those will be gunfight maps from the alpha, excluding one. So if four of those are from alpha, then uh, it does it wonder if he means those are alpha maps because we know the gunfight's going to be in there or if there's bigger versions of those maps. Probably not. Anyway, the main maps are Hackney Yard, Cave, Runner, and Quarry. Then there's Raid, which he says is the 10v10 map. 20v20 will not be in the beta, just 10v10, 32v32, which is added like we talked about earlier. So there will not be this in Ya Palace, any Ya Palace, it won't be in the beta. I guess he's talked about that in the past. I don't know. So what he is stating is that 6v6, 2v2 gunfight, 10v10, and 32v32 will be in the beta at some point for you to give a go. All right, I think we have the last tweet here. No hardcore in the beta, but instead they will have tactical realism of which, just like hardcore with lower health, team killing disabled, and some minor changes from standard hardcore. So if you're a hardcore fan, you're going to have to wait for launch on that, which that's not necessarily a, a bad thing. And then he has a couple things where he says there will be two night map variants in the betas. For clarification, Quarry is not the Modern Warfare 2 remake. It's not 6v6. It's a 32v32 map. And he says he thinks the download is going to be around 60 gigs. So there you go. That's all speculation. That's all leaks from the gaming revolution. None of that is confirmed from Activision or Infinity Ward, but it gives us a good premise to go off of. You guys, let me know if you're excited. What are you most looking for? And let's get real for just like, uh, just a minute here. Just want to say uh, thank you for all the support on the COD videos. I see you guys. I see people asking me every day on Twitter and Instagram and in the comment section. I want more COD, more COD, more COD. Well, the COD is there. I mean, we're doing it. I, I made a promise to you guys that I would cover Modern Warfare in full throughout this year. I don't know what's going to happen next year or how it goes. We'll have to wait and see. But I did want to say thank you to everybody for all the support. I hope you guys have a fantastic day.